A video made by a Myrtle Beach server is making its rounds on social media. Sydney Carter was born and raised along the Grand Strand and shared how she can't even afford to live on her own now because of the rising cost in the county. In nearly half of U.S. states, you'll actually need a six-figure household income in order just to buy a house, according to a new analysis from Bankrate.com. ABC 15's Camille Gale shares how Carter's story resonates with so many. This is my city, this is my home, everyone that is down here, locals, everything like that, we all love each other, everyone is so sweet down here, I can't imagine living anywhere else. But when the place you call home is the largest growing city for three years in a row, according to a U.S. News & World Report, building a life here becomes more difficult with each U-Haul that arrives. I barely have a life. I have two days off and I work Wednesday to Sunday doubling just to pay my bills. The report lists the many jobs in tourism and hospitality paired with the low cost of living as reasons for the influx of residents in Myrtle Beach. And that's exactly the industry that 22 year old Sydney Carter works in. Why am I making more money waitressing than I would make using my college degree? That's kind of why I got into serving a waitressing because I love doing it. I love meeting everybody and I love talking to people. Locals are so sweet, but then at the same time, it's an easy job just to have a little bit of extra cash to help with bills, expenses and everything like that. Although Carter uses the word easy, her video on TikTok with 400,000 views describes how the money she makes from serving is still not enough to live on her own, even putting her education to the side so she could save up to pay her tuition. I was supposed to go back into it this year. I just put it on hold for like over a year or so just because I wanted to serve a little bit and save up as much money as I could. After Carter's video picked up steam, many users commented their own stories trying to navigate the current financial climate. Others comparing now to the past, saying that Gen Z isn't the only generation to face financial hardship. One comment reading, 20-somethings often think they should be making 100000 a year with few skills and nothing to offer. Another says, how did other generations endure the 1970s with higher inflation than now? Work mornings at the pharmacy, nights waitressing. That's what I would do. Like, So that's why it gets so frustrating when people are thinking that I'm this girl that's complaining for no reason. I, I really, truly do work hard. So we compared the numbers. According to the Consumer Price Index's inflation calculator, in 1970, the rent average was $108. That's equivalent to the buying power of $881 today. However, the rent average in 2024 is $1,964. How are y'all affording housing? In Myrtle Beach, a one-bedroom apartment is $1,500. Currently, Carter lives with her boyfriend and his mom with plans to move into a home of their own, but Carter says it's taking longer than expected as the housing costs continue to rise. Do we need to move somewhere for a better job opportunity that we don't know about? Do any of y'all really know what you want to do with your life right now? It is so scary being in America right now. Although Carter's video received mixed reviews, she insists on using her online platform as a safe space for people to share their thoughts and emotions. In Myrtle Beach, Camille Gale. If you can relate to this, if you have any advice, please comment and let me know. It's ridiculous. ABC 15 News. And according to the study, analysts assessed affordability as to whether mortgage payments could be made, assuming a 20% down payment with a 30-year fixed rate. Now, they didn't actually factor in closing costs, home maintenance costs, and non-housing each item costs, which researchers say all home buyers have to take all of that into consideration.